Hello and welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran and this is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, everything. So, welcome. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. If you haven't already done that, even if you're returning, go ahead and do that for me also. I would appreciate it and I do enjoy the interaction. Today is my weigh-in week and let's see how I did. The first part of this week, I was still struggling. I have been struggling for the last couple weeks. It is no secret at all. And I was continuing to struggle. And I started to think about something one day when I was in the shower. I started to think about what in the world would happen if I actually kept myself in line for a week, a month. And I was like, a month? Holy moly, that's a month. But then I started to think about the fact that it's only a month. Who can't do something for a month? Seriously. So I went ahead and I decided to take September as a it's only month. I am also, so I am really working to do everything right. It's only a month. It's only a few weeks of denying myself or something. I want to see what happens if I don't eat the chips and if I don't snack on a dessert at night. And when I say snack on a dessert, I'm still allowing myself to have a frozen banana. A banana is a banana. How bad can that be? I am still allowing myself to have strawberries with a little bit of Ready Whip on it because it's strawberries and Ready Whip isn't much. So I'm not denying myself a whole lot. I'm just trying to be a lot more healthy. And I wanted to see what would happen in that month if I'm actually spot on or very close to spot on. So I am taking the mantra of it's only a month. I can do anything for a month, can I? Yeah, absolutely. It's only a month. I can make sure I drink my water for a month. It's only a month. So what's going to happen is I do know from past experiences that only a month turns into habits that are built. And how this it's only idea came up was years ago I was working at a bank and vacation was upcoming in about six or seven weeks and my manager also had a vacation coming within about six or seven weeks. And in that time frame, our customers were bringing us donuts every day, a dozen donuts. And there was only four to five of us working in the office at any one time. And we were eating donuts every day. And if a customer didn't bring them, we went to the donut shop and got them ourselves. And she and I were both talking about trying to lose weight and the donuts. And we decided that we were not going to have donuts for six weeks. We did not restrict ourselves with anything else, just stopping the donuts. And that's what we told ourselves. It's only six weeks. At the end of six weeks, I can have as many donuts as I want. And it was difficult because they still brought donuts in and they still sat there on the counter. But we didn't eat them because it's only six weeks. Seriously, who can't do it for six weeks? And we did not eat donuts that six weeks. When the six weeks were over, we both went on our vacations. They were about a week apart. And when we came back, do you want to know the miraculous thing? We didn't get donuts every day and we really didn't need them every day because that six weeks changed the habit. So I am working on a it's only month. Spot on, tracking my food, drinking my water, and I am trying to exercise on my lunch breaks. And I did actually start this week. My goal for the month of September Realistically, I'd like to do it three times a week, perfectly, every day that I work. I almost did not do it. Today is Tuesday, but I'm like, I am not starting my month with a fail. So here I am, hot, sweaty, and crazy. This should be really interesting because I am actually leading a training of new hires, and we stopped for lunch break. I'm gonna go back all hot and sweaty. Won't that be fun? Cracks me up. Now, 
work went crazy upside down and I have been struggling with my lunch breaks because I've been working and doing other things, but that's okay. So what's gonna happen now is the weekend is upon me and I am working and determined that it's gonna stay on task, on target, all weekend long. Because it's only a weekend, who can't do it for a weekend? My weight this week stayed the same. My weekend was rough and then I've only had two or three days of it's only to get myself back on track. So it is a maintain, but I am expecting amazing things next week. So stay tuned. There are no excuses. If something isn't working for you, figure out what will work and try it. No excuses.